resource leveling, capacity planning, and resource management in Microsoft Project. In the Guide to the Project Management Body of Knowledge, resource leveling is a technique in which task start and finish dates are adjusted based on resource constraints with the goal of balancing demand for resources with the available supply. This is quick and easy to do in Microsoft Project. Now, adjusting start and finish dates while a project is in execution is best to be avoided, and it's easy to avoid by using portfolio planning and capacity management tools available with the Microsoft Project platform. However, we all know stuff happens. In this video, we will look at three ways to quickly level a project schedule to accommodate unavoidable resource over allocations. We use Microsoft Project Online to quickly view uh, resources, schedule, and capacity. From the Resource Center, we can select various named resources, view all the projects that they're assigned to, Assignments are grouped by project and by date. And we can go into the Resource Capacity Planning Center to determine that, yes, we are over allocated on a few resources in this quarter. So we go to the Project Professional uh, desktop application to do our deep scheduling work. Um, this is a project that has some over allocated resources. Um, we can see that those are over allocated by the red Burning Man icon here in the indicators column. Uh, there's three easy ways that we can uh, level resources. The fastest and least efficient method is to simply level the entire uh, project uh, schedule task by task and resource by resource. As you can see, that stretches out the project significantly and moves our completion date from May to December, so not ideal. Um, so we can clear away that uh, leveling maneuver and dive a little deeper into uh, the leveling by uh, leveling each resource one by one. Um, so uh, we can level the project manager without uh, any effect in the project. We can repeat the process for each of the named resources to determine who's the most over allocated. And it looks like this uh, developer's uh, schedule is what's pushing the project completion date out to December. So we'll <clears throat> double check that hypothesis by uh, checking this last named resource. And in fact, uh, that resource, the schedule is only um, uh, over allocated until July. So um, we have clearly found the, the bottleneck in the schedule. And uh, in this case, we can look at perhaps uh, replacing that uh, resource with um, a resource with similar skill set and more availability in, in their schedule. And uh, we can take a look at how to do that in the next video. Uh, the other way we can um, level is by uh, task rather than resource. Um, so again, uh, by leveling the tasks, not the resources, we push the completion date out to October. Um, but uh, we've we've reduced the resource allocation. So um, in the next video, again, we'll take a look at uh, swapping out over allocated resources um, for resources with uh, more availability during uh, the project schedule timeframe. In summary, we can see that resource management and capacity planning are integral to the efficient functioning of organizations and the project management office. Microsoft Project Online and Project Professional provide us with an excellent set of tools to effectively select and plan projects based on available resources, alert us in advance when proposed projects will require additional resources for completion, and then allow us to manage and optimize the available resources during project execution. Western principles can help with your project and portfolio management system. From implementation, improvement, 
process mapping, training, and sustainment. We look forward to hearing from you. Give us a call.